Hello everyone and welcome to A Sunburn Albano Plays Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy The Duelist Episode 40. Uh, this story has lost me. I'm not sure why Super Saiyan 2 Mega Man is battling Aryan Blackface, but I'm sure we'll never know regardless. But we're going to do the duel, so let's do it. With Vector defeated, Don Thousand returned to regain his power. You meaningless flea! Did you honestly believe that the boundless power I allowed you to wield was yours to have forever? Know this! What I have given to you, I can also take away. No! Vector! Ah, my power has returned to me. You won't have it for long, and that's a promise! One you cannot keep. I will consume you as I have consumed so many before you. That's right, I forgot that you're, uh, you're handsome. That is, that's your voice reference in my head. For everyone I've ever known, I'll fight to the very end. Ready? Yes. Ultimate Zeke so morph! Let's go! Okay. Story deck, I guess, just cause... There's only, well, there's three duels left, uh, including this one. The last one I will also use the story deck for. Uh, the one in the middle, you know, we'll, we'll check, we'll check out, uh... I've been, like, going crazy on deck building recently, and I'm not sure why. I just feel like, I just feel like themes that I want to explore, and the, you know, just, so I end up with like 30 unperfected decks. But, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, Gaga Ga Magician is a dark, so that's why you'd have Mystic Tomato. Not bad. Not bad. Gaga Ga Magician, which means Gaga Ga, like, girl and stuff, and, you know, whatever else is probably also. So that is a good, that's a good, uh, combination there. No, do not activate Mystical Space Typhoon, although I will set it. Just so it will stop prompting me to use it for a while. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna set Mystic Tomato right now. There can only be one Gaga Ga Magician, so we would have to do something else. Activate the effect of a card? No, no, I'm not trying to blow up my own shit. Ice Hand. That is gonna be able to kill me. Oh, and Kage to Kage, of course. The card that every single person who uses... Uh, XYZ monsters trying to summon rank 4. Uh, and it's just instantaneous. Okay, what card... Oh, Kagaito was like, yeah, that was 11. You're not gonna be able to attack. There can only be one Gaga Ga Magician. This card's level becomes the level of that monster. Oh yeah, Gaga Ga Girl would be the thing that would happen then. No, it wouldn't! Oh yeah, watch this shit. Doesn't even matter. I like. I was under the impression that well, it wouldn't have worked regardless. If I had summoned another Mystic Tomato, then it, I'd just have a Mystic Tomato on the field. I wouldn't be able to have Gaga Ga Girl come out because Kage to Kage wouldn't have been able to kill it. But at least now I can call of the haunted it. Uh, yeah. No. Yes, very nice. And I, we're trying to become level 5, I assume, to get, uh, not Utopia Raid Victory. Where's the one? You don't have the, like, ZX thing that's, like, 3,000 attack that's two level 5s anymore? What's wrong with you? You don't have the one card that I was counting on right now. Okay, what is Crimson Armor Shadow Ninja, then? Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja. Why detach? Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Well, that's terrific, but that's not helpful. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, that again. I could get Leviath. Leviathan Dragon would be... No, because then you'd get to... You'd use your effect to destroy a monster whose attack is different from its original attack. So I can't do Leviathan Dragon against it. I could make Big Eye. I... Yeah, I can make Big Eye. Well, but, yeah, we're just gonna make Big Eye then. That's really obvious now that I think about it. No. Uh, please become level 7. No. Activate the effect of a card, yeah? No, not that card. You son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah, now you become level 7. No, do not activate the effect of a card, you son you All right. Well, we're gonna make Big Eye now, and we're gonna take control of Ragnar Zero. 
I would much rather take control of it than kill it. Because then if you've got anything that tries to become attack different than its original attack, I'm going to take that out as well. Activate the effect of... I forget what you do. When... Yes, probably. No. Oh, make your... Oh, turn your attack to zero. Oh, well now in that case then... I don't want to do that. Show card list. Let me hold this. As a blah blah, special, its attack becomes zero, and it, it, its attack becomes zero forever. So now I definitely don't want it. So instead, we're gonna battle. Activate the effect. No. At this point, you'd probably use your own effect to kill yourself. But also, actually, what would the point of that be? So never mind. But you, you know, you're dead. So props to me, I guess. This whole Gaga got big guy thing seems pretty potent. I don't know what you're gonna do to stand up to it, Dom Thousand. Okay. Rank up Numeron Force, number C monster with the same type as that mob, but one rank higher by using it as the XYZ. Okay, so we would use this for Utopia to make Utopia victory, I assume. Take control of that monster. I don't want to take control of this monster. Actually, I probably do, because that's probably Firehand. If I think about it, like, the one card that could wreck me right now is Firehand. Uh, I need that to not be Firehand. So basically what's going to happen is... I'm going to summon Gaga -ga Gardner. No. Oh, well, yeah, actually, I want to kill whatever this is. Oh-ha! Don Thousand's trying to be a cheap-ass bitch. All right, Don Thousand. Uh, let's put you in. And what is it? It was Firehand. My instincts are so goddamn good. Ah, good for me. Also, I could XYZ summon with him if I wanted to. And I do. Because what an actually terrific idea. We make Utopia. And then we equip ZW Tornado Bringer, or whatever it's called, uh, from my hand. It, like, it makes it gain 1800 attack, I think. Or we could rank up magic, in fact. In fact, we could rank up magic and then equip ZW Tornado Bringer. Target one, yeah. Oh, gains 1300 attack. Well, your opponent can't target with card effects. Uh, destroy. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, yes. You. Dude. Dude, you're dead now. I, you're dead. Ha <laughs> ha! I will know I shouldn't say that, because Big Eye can't attack. Utopia Ray Victory. You are not you are not quite dead, but you are going to take very sizable damage this turn. Uh, this card, yep, yeah, yeah, this card has Utopia, which it does. Uh, when this card declares face, but uh, your opponent controls, negate the opponent's face on monster effects. Also, this card gains attack. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's real good. Ooh. Why is this card's effects negated? Doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. All right, cool. Forty-one hundred. That is a lot of damage. And now you can't win, so that's cool. Because even if you try to put another fire, oh, oh. What have you got there? Ragna Zero again? Oh no! Attack different than- Oh no, Silent Honor Arc. That's actually- Well, that's- Either way, like, both of those things would have killed me. But you're gonna put it in defense mode. Yeah, I assume you would do that and then take- Take my big guy. So I can't take that. And there's Don Thousand's Throne. But a number monster you control is targeted for an attack, except number Z monsters. So send this card to the graveyard, negate the attack, then special summon a number Z monster with the same number in its name as the number monster you control. Oh, God. That's actually mildly kind of a problem. That's actually a pretty big, perhaps, problem. I can negate your effects, but you're gonna summon the... But you're gonna negate the attack. And then summon Silent Honor Dark, most likely. And that would ruin me. So I'm not sure how to proceed. Your opponent cannot activate spell trap cards until the end of the damage step. Never mind, you don't get to do shit. Okay. I'm gonna put Call to Haunted down. 
I don't know why Call of the Haunted is negated either. But whatever. Activate the effect. Oh, I can negate your... Yes, I do want to do that, because otherwise you won't die. Yeah, let's get rid of... You can... I don't want to get rid of your card, because I don't want you to be able to bring that back. And I want to keep Utopia, because I have to. Or else you can't activate one of your effects. Alright, yeah, I took Big Guy back for me. Let's end the phase. No. Yeah, I was gonna... You're, you're, you're out of options. Like, that Silent Honor arc thing would have worked. But unfortunately, I negate your shit, so... Now we'll activate Call of the Haunted. Let's bring back Big Guy. Just for its, uh, strength at this point. And then we'll also summon Gaga... Because if you're gonna, like... You know, if this is Fire Hand, like, I have to... If you're gonna destroy one of my monsters, I need to have enough. Oh, but it wasn't. Oh, so you lose. Oh, Don Thousand is toast. We did it! We beat Don Thousand! How absurd. I cannot believe I lost. Well, you better believe it. We stopped your evil dreams and gave you a rude awakening. You may have defeated me, but the destruction of your worlds is still in the cards. You have merely vanquished my body, not my spirit. While my dark energy lives on, I assure you that you will not. Shark! You my Astro, the battle isn't over. In fact, it hasn't even begun. Blah, blah. The Battle of the Three Worlds. All right. Shark! Don Thousand's power still remains. I forget what your voice is. It's also pulling our worlds into collision, cars to the Astral World. If our three worlds collide, Astral World will be destroyed. But since we defeated Don Thousand, his power should be gone. It's not. Because I inherited Don Thousand's energies. What? You absorbed Don Thousand's power? You forget that I'm a Baryan. Baryan world and Astral world are sworn enemies locked in a war with each other. So if you want to save Astral world, you'll have to defeat me. But Shark, I don't want to fight a friend. Wrong. We are not friends. Not as long as you take Astral's side. There's got to be some way that we can work it out, please. There isn't. For once, Shark and I agree. Our worlds cannot mutually exist. We must do battle. Now let's find out which one of our worlds will survive, see? User deck time. Uh, my Cyber Dragon deck is not good. It's not very good. I want to, so we're not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to use... I'm going to use Table Scraps. Scrap cards are a theme deck. That uh, the Duelist Elite uh, version of Bandit Keith uses. But he uses it, like, combined and, like, watered down with some bullshit pendul pendulum monsters. So I wanted to make, like, a pure scrap deck that didn't revolve around none of that bullshit. So in a way, I still think I'm being mildly original. Alright, scrap, or supply squad is good. Let's grab a special effect some negated that's good. Okay, alright. Then, yeah, we'll summon Scrap Shark. Uh, the scrap cards revolve around them being destroyed by their own effects or destroying each other with their own effects that then activate other effects that they have. So, when an effect monster's effect or spell trap card is activated, destroy the space in front of the field. If this card is destroyed by the effect of a scrap card, which it would be, which that would be counted as. Oh, you're gonna battle. And yeah, I got destroyed because Beauty Tuniful Princess got, uh... I can send one scrap monster from my deck to the graveyard. And I do want to do that. So, that card that I want to do that with is... Uh... Not you. I'm not Scrap Kong, either. I'm still my... I gotta remember this. I think Scrap Searcher. While this card is in the... Yeah. Yeah, Scrap Searcher I want to put in. Because it, it, it activates its effect in the graveyard. Fine, direct attack me. See if I care. See if I care, bitch. Bitch. Oh, I can't conduct my battle phase to turn activate this card. Isn't that just a real pisser? Okay, but when the effect of a scrap card is activated... 
Uh, or no, when it's destroyed. Any, okay, well, then it's special summon. When this card is destroyed, I'll face all monsters you control. Except so this is just to make sure that I'm only using this card with a scrap theme deck. Otherwise, it might be OP. Well, it probably wouldn't be, actually. But, control the monster, you special summon this card. Select one face of scrap monster you control and destroy it. Okay, so, oh, okay, I know, okay, okay, so I know, okay, so I, okay, I, I see, so okay, here we go. So, me special summoning that is gonna kill itself. And since it's gonna be destroyed, Supply Squad gets activated for one, and then we activate the effect of Scrap Searcher, who gets to go put on the field, because, uh, Scrap Monster was destroyed and whatnot. Uh, so you're gonna get in defense mode. And yeah, help me draw my cards so I get more options. Destroy. Select one scrap monster in my graveyard and add it to my hand. That would be Scrap Breaker, essentially. So basically, what I would want to do at that point, we then want a normal summon Scrap Kong, which will then kill it in instantly. Yep, goodbye. And then activate the... And then I can add a scrap monster from my graveyard to my hand. That would be Scrap Breaker. I want you to come back. Because then we're going to special summon you again. And destroy... Uh, what's its face again? Or destroy this card instead. Does this say once per turn? No, which is actually real nice. Uh, so I could, like, Special Summon Scrap Breaker, then break this Scrap Breaker, and then re-Special Summon Scrap Searcher, but that would be kind of pointless. Um, so at this point, Scrap Lube would mean I can't activate my Battle Phase. Uh, when a Scrap is destroyed, destroy all Phase up Spell Trap Cards. I would not want to do that. Scrap, I have Supply Squad. I can't, I can't have that happen. So then at this point, um, we just want to battle. And then, main phase two? No, because you don't control a monster, so it's not gonna count. Shit. Um... Well, whatever. Oh, great. Tin goldfish, of course. And spear shark. Tin Goldfish and Spear Shark, just so you can make a level 4 monster. Just so you can make Ragna Zero. Why do you have Ragna Zero? You're not even... Everybody has Ragna Zero. Alright. Yep, give me my cards. Yeah, give me my tuner cards, please. Thank you. I need that. I need those. Okay, so Scrap Golem. Yes, this will work. It's gonna be complex. It's gonna be mildly complicated, but it'll work. Special Summon Scrap Breaker, who then destroys itself. Because it is the only scrap monster on the field, so goodbye. Uh, Supply Squad, and then I also activate the effect of Scrap Searcher, which is now gonna get Special Summon. It's so nice that, like, it doesn't get removed. Because some a lot of these cards you'll see that activate in the graveyard, like, if it, and, like, brings them out of the graveyard. Like, a lot of those type of cards, like, are removed from play the next time they're removed from the field. But this card isn't. And that's what makes it really nice. So I can keep using that effect. I got another scrap, square, scrap searcher. So that's helpful. Okay, so now, at that point, we would summon Scrap Golem. By attributing that card. Uh, and then activate its effect, which will bring Scrap Kong out. But again, we don't have the attack power to beat Ragna Zero. Send one Scrap Monster from your deck to the graveyard. By the effect of a... But I don't have a level 6 one of those. I still am going to pick you, though. Oh yeah, I can special summon it to the opponent's side of the field, too, if I wanted to. But I don't want to do that. It wouldn't help me on their side. In attack mode. I'm still not entirely half sure about what I'm doing right now, but... Well, that monster destroyed this card, blah, blah, blah. Does not help. None of these cards' effects will activate now, and that will be a problem. So, but Scrap Worm next time can probably get some kind of job done. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. 
So basically, I just bolstered my defenses a little bit here. And we all we have to discard. Let's get rid of Scrap Crash then, because that I don't, that, I don't, I can't. I need, I need to have my supply squad. What a dick. Activate the effect of Scrap Searcher. Yeah. Activate the effect of, yes, and activate the effect of Scrap Shark, because I gotta send. Now I gotta send one of my tuner monsters to the graveyard. Okay, so that would be this. Blah, blah, blah. When special summon, nope, nope. By controlling, when special summon this way. Can I special summon this card from the graveyard? It doesn't say that I can't, but it doesn't say that I can. So that makes me think. I'm gonna send you. You're my tuner that can also be, like, do what the effect of Scrap Searcher does. But slightly worse, because since you are a tuner, it does make sense that you would have to balance that by being removed from play. Okay. Alright, now we've got some shit going on here. And this is going to take a bit... Oh, if only I had Scrap Kong. If I had Scrap Kong, then it would Special Summon Scrap Searcher. And then... And also, actually, it would Special Summon the other card. Or no, no. No, it would Special Summon Scrap Searcher, and then I could... It's... I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> By controlling a face of Scrap Monster. When Summon the next one, face of Scrap Monster. And destroy it if this card... It's destroyed by the effect of a scrap card. So I'm going to spin it out of your hand. Ugh, it's tough. Just want to accept this card, destroy it, and send one tuner monster from your deck to the graveyard. So Scrap Hunter would have been nice a while ago. Is it accept Scrap Worn? Add it to your hand. That is helpful, but not this mild, the mild problem that we still have here. Like, I'm not sure how to proceed. Summon Scrap Shark. Special Summon Scrap Ortheros, which will destroy Scrap Shark. Supply Squad gives me another card. Scrap Searcher gets onto the field. Send another card into the deck. From the deck to the graveyard, I mean. Some card. There's there's some other card I have that's good in the graveyard. I don't remember which one it is. Anyone is going to send one scrap tuner monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Ah, scrap chimera is the card I need. Uh, scrap worm needs to go just for when I get another one of those level five scrap cards that can I can special summon it from the graveyard then at that point. Okay, scrap. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Add one scrap tuner monster from your deck to your hand. Oh, we've got. No, that's not going to help me, actually. Oh, but it... Yeah, but... It, oh, but no. No, but yeah. But no, it's not. But yeah. Okay, so he... Uh, just, yeah. So, at this point... I, it's still very necessary for me to activate my battle phase. So I can't use Scrap Lube. Now what we do is use Scrap Yard. Add Scrap Orthros. Which could now be Special Summon. And select one face of scrap. If this card, you can select one scrap monster in your graveyard. Yeah. So far, I've only special summon. No, that's not true. I have normal summon. I have. And then it was destroyed. So I can add. Add to your hand. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I like the scrap deck because it's so convoluted. But also... And, like, because of that, like, you can make some real shit. It's gonna take for All the turns take goddamn forever. But it, you can make some real shit happen. So I need Scrap Golem. In my hand. Because I need to summon that eventually. Okay. And then I'd like to kill Skull Kraken, I guess. Just because, why not? I'd rather you not, like, have as many XYZ monsters as you possibly can out there. Oh, discard from my hand. Perfect. I can put Scrap Searcher just right in there. That's good. Having two of those is definitely a, a boon for when I'm trying to tribute shit. But yeah, I'm really excited about the properties that this deck has. 
but also I understand that it's so it's so long-winded that uh, it can be probably mildly frustrating. You're gonna equip my shit. No, you're just gonna destroy it. All right, and you're gonna kill that. Scrap Factory is my field card. I'm glad I got that. Oh, and they gave me two of them actually. Yeah, give me this. All scrap monsters gain 200 attack and defense, which by itself is good, but when a scrap monster is controlled, I can special summon a scrap monster from my deck. This is where the magic happens, because this is where you put scrap golem on the field from your deck, and then use it to special summon like all your scrap monsters from your graveyard one at a time. So you can make some of these bitchin' ass scrap uh, synchro monsters that are all so good that I just like them a lot. So, yeah. Okay, so when a blah blah is destroyed, you can special summon Scrap Golem, which means I don't have to worry about this Scrap Golem right now. What I have to do... Oh, accept this card and destroy it. That sucks. Okay. Basically... Ah, oh, but with this, that means Ragna Zero is going to be able to... destroy pretty much any card that I bring out. So, like, no matter... Ah, oh, Ragna Zero ruins this, actually. Like, pretty substantially. I may be fighting a losing battle here, but I have a mild idea. So, 700 there. Main phase two, you get destroyed. Supply Squad gives me another card. Scrap Factory puts uh, Scrap Golem on the field. Scrap Searcher gets put on the field by being in the graveyard. Uh, what do you do again? Oh, you would let me... Yeah, activate... Yeah, Scrap Worm. Add a card. Uh, let's add Scrap Breaker. Almost certainly is the card that I need. Activate this. Yeah, activate two Scrap Searchers. That's going to be really helpful. Put it in defense mode. Right now, we're just trying to stay alive. So I'm not trying to make my synchros happen now when Ragna Zero could easily destroy them. So Scrap Factory means that Scrap Golem is putting, getting put on the field. Yep, give me my card. None of you... All, we're all Scrap Monsters, so you're not going to destroy any of our cards. Uh, main Phase 2 means that I can destroy a Scrap Searcher in order to put Scrap Breaker. Uh, but that would be pointless, mildly. Kind of pointless. No, I wouldn't say it's that pointless. It might block one of your lower attack monsters from trying to attack me. The problem is, you're probably going to equip one of these cards. To, so maybe it would be better if I had more of them. Because if we're going to assume how your turn is going to go... Ragna Zero is going to destroy one of these cards with its effect, and then battle and kill the other one. And then Silent Honor Arc is going to equip this card to it, which gives Silent Honor Arc free, which means it'll be attack. And that's just assuming you don't even summon any more monsters, but you're going to. So we need more. We need more monsters on the field. If the defense in the field is being attacked, it gained is just... Ooh, is destroyed during... Oh, that is actually exactly what we need, one of the things. That would really help out. And then... Destroy it. Destroyed... Well, well, this card is in the graveyard. Unfortunately, I don't think that means I can bring it back immediately afterwards. What card do we have here? Oh, that's right! Select, destroy, and then special summon that monster. Or destroy that monster, special summon this card. I'm mildly retarded. Just a little bit. I should have done this such a long time ago. I was all like, oh, but like Ragnar Zero is gonna kill these cards. Not if I kill them with my effects first, you know? So. Okay, so we bring you out. And we can make our level six right now, but first, Scrap Golem brings Scrap Kong. When is special summon this? No, no, no. When special summon this way. But it's not special summon this way, it's special summon a different way, so I don't think you have to destroy a card. Let's find out. If you do have to destroy a card...
then this might ruin my strategy a little bit. You don't. Perfect. Okay, so where's my level 10? I can make my level 10. One card and up to three cards in your opponent's graveyard. So that's not the one I want. Uh, one card you control and two cards your opponent controls. And return the two that, to the hand. So it's not even going to destroy. Oh, yeah. We need our level nine on the field. So that would be these two uh, being synchroed. Which will happen. Which means that I can get rid of Scrap Searcher by Special Summoning Scrap Breaker. And then, yep, get rid of you. And then, oh, okay, I guess you can come right back out then. But it's still nice that to have you out here, just as extra defense. And now, uh, Scrap Twin Dragon, these two. In attack mode. Just please... Oh, I have, su I have the best idea. Oh, set. Get rid of that. No more can Ragna Zero actually can destroy us because our attack is now not different from our original attack. I am so such a genius. So such a genius. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I can make Scrap Archfiend right now also by combining these two. Would I want to do that? Probably. I mean, let's uh, hold up. Let's hold up on that, I guess. Because I have to destroy a card I control. Let's destroy Scrap Rage then, I think. Let's destroy Scrap Rage. And then we'll return both these cards to the hand. Oh, that feels good. It felt good to have just done that. How much defense does Scrap Archfiend have? 1,800. That is not enough to justify. All right. Well, then I think this is how we're going to go. The problem with having Scrap Mind Reader is that you could do a lot of damage to me if you do something that has piercing damage. That could be a problem. But it's a problem that we can't really do anything about at this point. I'm keeping Scrap Factory off, because if you do make another Ragnar Zero, I don't want any of my weaknesses exposed. Activate the effect of the card. Destroy it. Oh. I am gonna do that, but not right now. Oh, perfect. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yes. We're gonna get rid of uh, Supply Squad right now. Because I don't need it anymore. This is the turn we're actually gonna win. It was a very long-winded route there. But uh, it's... Uh, what do you mean chain... Oh, no. Don't chain the effect of the thing right now. Yeah, you get that stuff. Okay, first, let us spe put as much scrap shit on the field as we can. Um, and by doing that, that would be Scrap Golem, I think. Yes, summon Scrap Golem. Okay. Now let's activate Scrap Factory, because you've got nothing. You got nothing on me. Destroyed. Activate the effect of the card. No. Um, activate your effect. I'm basically just special summoning a card, the card that I'm about to just destroy by using Scrap Sheen right now. So, when this destroyed, you can send one Scrap Monster from your deck to the graveyard. No. Destroy, accept Scrap Worm and add it to your hand. Yes. You're the car that I need. No. To my side of the field. In attack mode. Again, I apologize. It's super long-winded, but it is working so far. Speed of the special summoning monster. No, do not activate the effect of the card. I could make another Scrap Archfiend right now with these two cards. Would I want to do that? No, because I need to destroy one of these cards. Which would then special summon another thing. Okay, so I... Uh, yeah, okay. We'll use Scrap Sheen right now. Destroy you. Which also lets me special summon another Scrap Monster from my deck. And apparently lets me summon Scrap Searcher in my graveyard up. 
But not, no, don't activate the other effect or else we won't have to, or we won't have enough room. But we will activate the Scrap Worm, which will give me Scrap Breaker. Which then Scrap Breaker will be special summoned and destroyed by doing stuff. Oh, except I don't think I'll have enough room for that either. I shouldn't have activated any Scrap Searchers. I think we're officially too cluttered for this to work. There's some card that's like special, I don't know. Uh, Scrap Chimera? No, Scrap Kong, yes. Okay, so all that happened. And yeah, we can't do anything else. But do we need to? The answer is no. Look at all this. 42, 35, 22, 33. How is your attack so high, by the way? Oh yeah, that's right, because I used the thing that makes all the, the attack way, way higher. So yeah, this is the scrap deck, and it works, as you can see. Sometimes it takes a little while, but you can come back from pretty much anything if you employ the right strategies. Shark! Shark! I guess my long journey has come to an end. You have your whole entire future ahead of you, Yuma. I wish I was around to see it. Thanks for teaching me to feel the flow. That's super gay. You were great duelists, but even better friends. Shark! Goodbye. With the tragic loss of Shark, Astro finally took possession of all 100 number cards. Yuma, we have finally accomplished our goal of gathering all 100 number cards. Their combined energies allow me to access the Numeron Code, the source of all creation throughout the universe. It gives me the power to rewrite both the future and the past, which I shall use to fulfill my final mission. But I thought we finished our final mission. Wait, you don't mean... My mission? To annihilate Barian World. I thought you were done with that nonsense! No, Barian World is the enemy of Astral World. It must be extinguished. Haven't you learned anything at all, Astral? You don't have to fight anymore. Your two worlds can be at peace. Peace may have been your goal. It is not mine. Mine remains the destruction of Barian World. Dream on, because that ain't happening! And how do you plan to stop me, Yuma? Do you dare challenge me to a duel? You bet! You must realize the foolishness of your endeavor. Since I possess all the number cards, you cannot win. Do you still wish to duel? More than ever! Very well. But when I win, I will do more than destroy Baryon World. I will use the Numeron Code to erase your memories. It will be as if we never met. Agreed? Agreed! Fine. We shall duel tonight at the courtyard where we first met. Come on, just do it now. What? What? We have other things to do? Alright, but... I guess this is just going to be a long episode because I do want to end... I don't want to do one duel the whole time. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Forever Zeke, so let's do it. Let us begin. Ready? Always! Time for me to high-five the skies! Oh my fucking dick. <laughs> Story deck! Oh goodness. Oh my back. Oh, okay. Oh my back. Oh my. I am an 80-year-old man who has had hip replacement surgery. And everything hurts. Oh, I just feel the inner creaking in there. It's like somebody has not greased the gears in a while. That sounds really disgusting, actually, but... Uh, what do you know? All right, so yeah, Yuma does not have any of his number cards. No Utopia or nothing. Astral has all of them. So Astral's gonna be a pain in the ass. All we've got is Gagaga Ga Ga Cowboy, which is really all we need, but, you know, it's, it's well. Fiendish Chain, super nice. Pinpoint Guard is super nice. Go, 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 Golem can just go up to 3,300 attack right now. We might do that. Uh, later, once we know what we're up against. Gagaga Ga Ga Cowboy with Magnum Shield is like 3,900 attack and unstoppable. So, currently special summon any number of Assault Dog from your deck. I don't... <sighs> It's effects or neg I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, you suck, and why would you even think that that was a good idea? I know why you want, you know, so you can get two Assault Dogs. But there's no. Okay, so, uh, change to attack position. No, do not activate the effects of a card. I know what's going to happen if I attack Assault Dog, but if I use Fiendish Chain to negate that monster's effects... Even, like, when it's sent to the graveyard, it's still gonna summon the monster. I know that for a fact. I'd rather save Phoenix Chain for, like, a strong monster. 
who I need to, like, not. And you want me to attack, so even if you had, like, Mirror Force, you wouldn't use it at that point. Yeah. All right. So basically, I say go ahead. You know, you work out what you want to work out right now. We'll see how it ends up for you. Giant rat. Three level fours. What do you got going on? You have uh, you have Shark Drake. That is that is def that's something that needs to know. I'm you're not, you're not allowed to use that monster's effects. I guarantee you that. Okay, well we can make Gaga Ga Cowboy, which would be able to kill Shark Drake pretty easily, actually. As a matter of fact. Yeah, and I want to get rid of one of these cards with Gagaga Ga Ga Bolt. So, we summon Gagaga Ga Ga Gardena, which is also super good with Magnum Shield. Uh, activate the effect of a card, yes. Okay, Gagaga Ga Ga Bolt gets used to kill whatever this is. Oh, I'm kind of glad I got rid of that, but at the same time, this is probably more threatening. So, I'm going to put you in defense mode just in case this is Mirror Force. I should probably have looked through your deck before I started this duel to see if you had Mirror Force in it. But, uh, whatever. Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy with these two. Yeah, so when you activate Gaga Ga Cowboy's effect uh, in attack mode, it gains a thousand attack and the monster loses, it battles, loses 500 attack. Which means, which would make, put me at 25 and you at 23, Shark Drake. So you will die. In a very nice way. Okay. That makes me think that this is Call of the Haunted. Because it was not Mirror Force. You would definitely have not let me kill that card if it if you had a choice. Unless maybe you wanted it dead because it, you know, couldn't attack or its effects or whatever. I guess we'll find out. X, Y, ah, yeah. Then that, oh, I played right into your hands then at that point. Okay, then. Uh, oh, that's not actually going to help me. Pinpoint Guard is not going to help. It could give me another Ga 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 Cowboy. Okay, then I do have to do it then. Like, it's not going to serve the purpose of being, like, neg it's not going to, like, negating the attack or nothing. You're still going to kill my Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy. And then, yeah, you use this, so you're going to do that. This attack becomes zero. Or, no, it's not. You just lower it by a thousand. And that does a lot of damage to me. But we can make another Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy, which will then kill Shark Greg. I am going to equip it with Magnum Shield, too, by the way. Gaga Monster in your graveyard special summon and equip it with this card. This card is sent to the graveyard because the equip monster was used... Oh. And I assume that Gaga Ga Cowboy counts as that. Oh, that's what we can do. That's what we could do. Use Gaga Ga Ga Revenge. Bring back Cowboy. We'll equip this cowboy with magnum shield so he can still be useful we'll make a new one that we will not equip with magnum shield because the fact that he can detach his materials makes him like just as good as having magnum shield almost but basically what i want two very strong as opposed to one super strong and one that's not good at all so that's what i'm thinking yeah activate your effect because you're the one that's going to attack shark drake so i think Go, 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 golem is better served in the graveyard. So if we get a go, go, go giant, you know, we can make another XYZ stuff. Okay, and then equip Magnum Shield to this one. Oh, yes, feels good. And then use the attack boost here to destroy you. That way. And then how about a free 3,900 damage, Astral? Oh, you thought you had me on the ropes. I'm afraid you were mistaken. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. That's a pain. Mystical Space Typhoon, please. No, but I did get Go 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 Giant, as expected. But I will not be activating its effect at this time. What I will be doing is changing you to defense mode and then activating your effect. And so I can do 800 damage to you. And that's basically all we can hope for at this point. We'll keep you in attack mode. And we'll end our phase. Unfortunately, this is giving them the chance to set up and negate all our monsters' effects. But that's why I'm also building up cards in my hand so that I can replenish those fallen monsters if need be. I only have one Gagaga -ga -ga Cowboy left. I could use its defense mode effects to do up to 1600 damage, which is not going to be enough, which is why I'm not going to do that. That would not see it all the way through. Eh, face down cards. What is it? Is it XYZ Reborn like I probably think it is? Unfortunately for... Actually, no, that's not true. You, if, you, if you got Shark Drag back, you could do some damage to me by killing Gaga Cowboy in defense mode. But... That is not gonna be the... Oh, but shit. Okay, now we have a problem. Is Gaga... Should I use it to kill Swords of Revealing Light? Or is this card something that needs to die? I think it's this card. I think this card needs to die. If you control, destroy that has the lowest attack. And if you do inflict damage to your... Oh, wow. That is not... Based on the... Based on the situation, that was the wrong call. But... Well, I mean, it was the right call in the fact that I didn't know what to do. But if I had known that those two were the cards, then obviously, you know, you'd rather destroy. Because it's not like I'd give you a chance to get Utopia on the field. But now you have the opportunity. So now I'm glad that that card's dead. But at the same time, like, this could have been over had I only destroyed Swords of Revealing Light instead. So now you've got your Utopia. And it's weird that you picked Utopia. Well, now it's no longer weird that you picked Utopia. But I would have thought that you would have summoned Shark Drake again. Do you have more than two? Or do you have more than one of each card? I don't know. Utopia Ray, what are you doing? Oh, are you negating my effects? Oh, you're destroying all my cards. Oh, and doing lots of damage to me. Oh, you're going to kill my card now. Oh, everything has gone to shit. Activate the effect of a card. Don't I have to discard a card? No, I don't. I am going to special summon you from my hand, though. In defense mode. Because you cancel your attack anyway, so it's not like it mattered. Okay. I can make another cowboy. Well, you can target one XYZ in return if this, if this card has a utopia, which it does. Target one monster your opponent controls. Destroy that target once per turn. Okay, so not during my turn. Destroy this. Okay, so I can kill Utopia Ray 5 with the Gaga Cowboy I'm about to summon. Just making sure. And then I'll have enough manpower to uh, also kill that Kage to Kage. Because we're going to summon Go 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 Giant. Who will activate its effect and special summon a Go 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 Moss, the only one in my graveyard? Right, remember him from the beginning of the duel? Yes, he was put there for a reason. All right, and then we'll make him out of the cards that can't attack. So as to be pretty with our uh, decision placement, whatever. Activate your effect, please. Uh, get rid of Go 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 Golem. So that if we get another Go 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 Giant, we can just do this shit again. Although that won't, that would just be, that would just serve to bolster my defenses since I no longer have Ga 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 Cowboys left. But still. Okay, so you use your thing. Goodbye. 400 there. And goodbye to you. 400 there. And now it looks good, but also you could easily kill either of these cards. Probably. Well, I don't know. Most of your special summon shit uh, uses weak cards to make that work. Plus, you did nothing. So, it looks like that. I'm gonna win! Alright. 
This card, or this duel was a pain in my ass sometimes. I'm glad it didn't turn out to be this time. Nicely done, Yuma. Thanks, pal. I knew you were never planning on destroying Barian World. You just wanted to remind me how fun dueling is. Oh, did you forget? It is time for us to fart. <laughs> did I really just... Okay. Anyway, it is time for us to part. I must go home to Astro World. You've got to be kidding me. I... It's time for us to fart, Yuma. Come on, let's fart together. Chorus of farts. Blah, 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 blah. I know. Don't worry. I won't cry. I have always enjoyed seeing your smile. Kiss him. Make out. Thanks, Astral. Thanks for everything. We're friends forever. Likewise, Yuma. Friends until the end of time. So... The next day, Yuma saw all of his friends at school. Everything was back to normal, except, of course, Astral was not there. Astral used the Numeron code to bring back all the Barian Emperors as humans. Yep. Things are back to normal. Everything's just like it was, except one thing. Astral. Huh? Why is my golden key glowing? Yuma, what are you doing here? We've detected a dimensional anomaly in Astral World. There's something out there that wants your buddy's home to go bye-bye. Who? How old are you, Kite? Astral's in trouble? Yeah, Astral totally needs our help. Then let's go help him. You don't have to feel scared or alone, Astral, because we're feeling the flow. God. Mythic Water Dragon. Okay. Rank down magic, you on fall. Yeah, good. Good, we got all that stuff. That's the end of Zeke's soul. Uh, Arc V's got, like, three duels. Two of them were DLC. The other one is just a duel that teaches you how to pendulum summon. I'm probably gonna skip these. But we are gonna go to the duelist challenges. And those are gonna be fun. And those are all those ones, you know, now that that series has started up, we're also I'm gonna also gonna start making more decks on camera. Uh, specifically to deal with uh, each of the duels that we are going to encounter in those challenges. So stick around. It's about to get real shit ass difficult. So if you like that, frustration, real nice. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.